Hello and welcome back to Scale Down Customs. Uh, on the bench today is going to be the Ravel Ford Bronco. I've always been a fan of the Bronco, so we're going to build this one up. So the instructions, typical Ravel instruction sheet. I love when they give a little bit of a history about the car and then just some general instructions, uh, your paint callouts. I really like how Ravel lists out all the part numbers and what they are, the description of the part number. Sometimes I'm not really sure what something is and I can look on here and, oh, that's the tie rod or roll bar support or whatever it says. And anyway, I just really like that Ravel does this for my education purposes. And then some good, crisp, basic instructions with the part number and the paint callouts. So that's good. There's the decal sheet. Very nice. Some uh, the fender trim, some fabric pattern for the seats, a couple of different color options for the Ford logo. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's a nice looking decal sheet. That's a nice looking chrome. Usually it's too bright and shiny. This is still pretty shiny, but it looks a little bit more dulled down. I really like this chrome. I'm probably not going to strip this. I might just use this from the kit. We'll see how it looks when it's all painted up, but uh, I might just leave this chrome as it is. That looks really sharp. Oh, that glass is really nice. Nice and clear. Yeah, that glass is looking really nice. I'm going to keep this in the bag just to keep it nice. I like these tires. This is a 125th scale, so it's a little bit smaller, but uh, I like those tires. Nice tread pattern on that. Good looking tires. Very clean sprues. Very nicely detailed. Very, very, very little flashing. These, uh, these parts are looking cleaner and cleaner all the time. Nice 289 engine block, the transmission. Yeah, these plastics are looking really clean. So that's nice. These vent louvers, these vents on the hood go all the way through. They're not just indents. That's a nice touch. Nicely detailed dashboard, very nice. And the body. This does come with a removable hard top, so you can actually display it with the hard top on or off. Very nice. Yeah, these plastics are looking really good. So this kit has 137 pieces, so there's quite a bit to this kit. So um, let's start getting parts cleaned up and uh, we'll get to work on this. All right, I got everything washed off at the sink. Just some basic soap and water just to get rid of any of that leftover release agent. This body looks really good. Very, very minimal as far as mold lines because most of the mold line they can hide around the inside of the body there but a little tiny bit on the front fenders here that we'll just sand off. And then, um, yeah, we're just gonna get some parts cut off the sprue and cleaned up and ready for primer and paint. So I'm just gonna use my Sharpie, my marker here, just to kind of go over where some of these mold lines are. It's basically just a guide code to just kind of let me know how far I'm going on those mold lines. Well, but Ravel's done a really good job on this mold. All right, for sanding, I'm just going to be using a 600 grit sanding sponge from Tamiya. A couple things included in body prep is I am going to scribe out these panel lines just to make them a little bit deeper and for that I'm just going to be using my Tamiya panel line scriber I've got the chisel blade in here now but uh, but I'll be using the I believe it's the point two head on that and then since the uh, the undercarriage on this car is really impressive super detailed I am going to fill in my ejection pin marks uh, on the underside of the chassis or of the body and on the underside of the top just because this will come off and we'll be looking at it
got all those panel lines scribed out. I think that's the very first time I've ever scribed out any panel lines and didn't skip off and scratch into my body and have to repair that. So I've started sanding off some of those ejection pin marks uh, and they just actually sanded off underneath the top. Um, I've got a couple of little ones there. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can fill those. And then underneath the front wheel wells, I'm gonna fill these ones in too because I can't get in there to sand them out. So we're gonna fill those in and I'm just gonna try this um, perfect plastic putty from Deluxe Materials and see how this does. those dry up and we'll sand them back off uh, if you're wondering what this is um, I don't really know <laughs> I got I think it's for like a chemical lab um, for measuring out small amounts of um, powders substances got to obviously it's got a, a flat spade on the end um, but I I found these I I think I found them online and I just needed a little something small to do exactly what I was doing to just kind of spread some of that putty and uh, these little guys work pretty good, so that's what that is. And then for under the hood, I think I'm just going to try to sand these ones down and uh, see how that does. And when I'm sanding, sometimes I like to use a little bit of water just to kind of help my sanding sticks, my emery boards and stuff, not to clog up so quickly. All right, so the underside of the hood actually sanded off pretty well, so I won't have to fill those in. And while the body's drying, you can hear it in the dryer there, we're going to move ahead and get some of the other parts cleaned up and ready for primer as well. All right, we're going to work on a little bit of uh, pre-primer assembly. So I'm going to start gluing a couple of um, similar paint color parts together, like the engine block, the oil pan, cylinder heads, and then the seats and the seat backs. So to glue my parts together, I'm going to be using the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement for that. All right, so I am gonna put the roll cage in. I guess it's an option. Um, so it's got the markings on the back on the underside of the floor pan. So we're gonna drill those out and put in the roll cage. And I am gonna make it the same color since it's a factory install. They just went ahead and painted it the same as the rest of the body and interior tub and everything else. So to save on time and paint, I'm sure. So I don't know if they really did that, I'm just making that story up in my mind as I'm building this car. But we're gonna drill these out. I'm gonna glue them in so that I have a nice good bond since they are kind of a, a small glue point. And then we're gonna paint them all the same color as the, uh, as the body.
show you guys something that I just thought was a nice touch by Ravel is if you'll notice the inside of the tailgate the Ford logo is mirrored and it took me a while to figure out what that was but it's actually the back side of the stamp for the tailgate so if you have the Ford logo stamped on the tailgate you would have the reverse stamp on the back side and I just, even though this is a completely separate piece, I just thought that was a really nice touch by Ravel. So we're gonna let some of these pieces dry up and uh, I think we're ready for primer for most of these pieces. All right, so for my primer, I'm gonna use the Mr. Surface 1000. I am gonna thin this down with the Mr. Hobby Leveling Thinner. And uh, I'm gonna airbrush this on because I don't want it to go on too thick, so I'm not gonna use a rattle can for this. But uh, let's go spray some primer. All right, so I got all my parts cleaned up and did primer, and I am gonna use this first coat of primer as a guide coat, and I'm just gonna do some sanding on the body, the top and the hood, just to smooth everything off and get it as smooth as possible prior to the final primer coat and paint. All right, so right off the bat, you can see some high and low spots there, just on the hood. Um, not too big. Um, those are pretty little, pretty minimal, but they're still there and I just want to smooth those off. All right, got everything smoothed off. And with the bodies, I usually like to pay attention to any of the seam lines or uh, any of the panel lines because sometimes it'll be a little bit raised on there just the way the mold process works. So I kind of like to smooth those off a little bit. Uh, anyway, so uh, we're ready for some primer again. So I'm gonna go shoot some more primer on this and then uh, we'll be ready to move forward with painting some pieces. All right, got my final coats of uh, primer on there. I went over it lightly with a 1500 grit sanding sponge just to smooth it up just a little bit more. And then we're ready to spray those with some white. So we're just gonna be using the Tamiya White X2. So uh, let's go spray some paint.
All right, so we got these parts painted up in white. I probably should have primed these in white. Uh, I would have used a lot less paint, but oh well. And then maybe I would have, next time, maybe I would have done the, uh, the Tamiya White XF2, the flat white. Since these are interior pieces, I don't need them glossy, uh, except for maybe the top. Uh, I think that'll do it for this video, so make sure you stay tuned for the next one. We'll get some parts painted up and start doing some assembly. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.